I wanted to make an update on the Merc 4 grip versus the Ranger. A lot of you guys have some questions now, now that there was a stealth nerf with the Merc 4 grip. So uh, Anthony, who is the creator of TrueGameData.com, he actually literally just updated the website and let me know that the Merc 4 grip was actually nerfed quite a bit. So it reduces your movement speed by about 1%. So now the question remains, is it still worth using? So now I'm gonna show you guys a wall test and you guys can you know decide for yourselves whether or not you wanna use it. So right now we've got one of my class setups that I did feature in my previous video. We're running with the Merc 4 grip here. We're going to do a quick wall test. So I'm just going to aim here, right? We're going to let it do its thing. We're not going to control that recoil. All right. So fair enough. Then we're going to move it here slightly to the side and we're going to try to control that recoil. No ammo. All right. Now, the reason why I'm showing you the recoil pattern is because that is what most people care about, right? When the casual person thinks about, you know, under barrels, they think about recoil control. They don't think about movement speed, but you know, we'll get to that in a little bit. So now let's switch out to the Ranger foregrip here. We're going to do the same exact wall test. We're going to find that first bullet. We're going to move slightly over to the right. We're going to aim down sights. Okay. So this is with the, uh, with the Ranger foregrip. Okay. So in reality, nobody really shoots like that where they don't control the recoil. So let's go ahead and try to control that recoil here. All right. So look at the recoil control on the Ranger foregrip. It's a lot more dialed in, a lot more precise. It's a lot smaller than what it looks like on the Merc foregrip when you do try to control that recoil. So uh, the main question is, what about the movement speed? So, you know, you got to think about how you're using the weapon. So if you're using the weapon in multiplayer, I would say, long story short, the Merc 4 grip is still viable in multiplayer because most of your engagements are going to be close to medium range at most, you know, on most 6v6 maps. You know, if you're going to be playing something like Ground War or 10v10 on larger long range maps or Warzone, you definitely want to go with the Ranger 4 grip. So as you can see, the vertical recoil, you know, there's not much difference between the two. So you won't really have that hard of a time controlling the recoil if you're using Merc 4 grip. So uh, Merc 4 grip, Yes, on multiplayer 6v6, but if you're playing something like Warzone, Ground War, or 10v10, I would definitely go with the Ranger 4 grip. So we're going to transition over to the website really quickly, and we're going to take a look at the stats of the ADS and the movement speed, and we're going to compare and contrast so you can get more of a clearer answer of what you need to use. All right, so we're on that TrueGameData.com website, and here we have the underbarrel stats listed down below, and here we have the Merc 4 grip, which shows a 12 millisecond negative to it versus the Ranger 4 grip at 16 millisecond penalty for ADS. And then the operating foregrip, I didn't even bother to do a wall test because I've sh already shown you in my previous M4 video. There's a timestamp. You can just scroll to it. You can see what it looks like compared to, but there really isn't much difference between the operator and the Ranger as far as recoil pattern and recoil control goes. But the only reason why I don't recommend it is because of this ADS here. You know, it's a huge gap between this and the Ranger foregrip and the Merc foregrip. So, you know, of course you don't want to have a slow ADS. Now, if you take a look at the movement, speed it was reduced it was previously 3.7 percent i believe that it adds to your movement speed and now it's reduced to negative one percent so you know that's not really that bad so in multiplayer this negative one in movement speed i say you know you it shouldn't turn you off from using the actual attachment the merc 4 grip doesn't have a better tighter bullet spread when you're trying to control that recoil versus the ranger but at the same time if you're using it in multiplayer if you're engaging in that close to medium range then you know you shouldn't have a problem with it and plus there is less of a penalty for movement speed so this will still allow you to move around the map just slightly faster versus the Ranger foregrip. Now I understand this is a 1.3% versus 1.0% and that really isn't much of a difference, but you know, the ADS penalty is uh, slightly slower on the Ranger. So if you truly wanna maximize your ADS and your movement speed, definitely go with the Merc foregrip in multiplayer. But if you're gonna go with Warzone or 10v10 or Ground War, then you surely wanna use the Ranger foregrip mainly because most of your engagements are gonna be at long range. You don't really need to worry about ADSing your weapon 
line as fast as you possibly can. Because the problem is, if you're using something like a ranger or operator in close quarter combat, uh, then you, you might die before you can actually pull up your weapon for ADS. So uh, I hope you guys get an understanding of where I'm coming from here and more of a clarity on what you should be using. So for me personally, I'm still going to continue to use the Merc foregrip. Remember, it's how you use the attachments is what defines its viability, whether you're playing multiplayer or Warzone. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you found it informational. Subscribe if you're new around here and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.